This is the deer deterrent project for the garden. What we need is something that will detect deer coming in and set off an alarm that will scare them off. Um, what I've got here is an old motion detector floodlight. Came off the corner of the house. Um, it was in a box with a bunch of other stuff that didn't really have a use for. And this right here is a solenoid activated water valve out of an old washing machine. What happens is 120 volts across these will activate a solenoid that will allow fluid to pass from this point right here into either one of these depending on which one is activated. Now what I did here is I opened this up looked at everything make sure it was all working properly and also that hole in the middle there was very small I guess a water saving feature I took a drill bit made it much bigger that'll uh, allow water flow to actually work the sprinkler which requires quite a bit of water volume and pressure so got all that and now I'm going to reassemble this and see if I can make this motion detector activate those solenoids. If they will do what I expect, then I'll just hook up some water and see if uh, motion will set off the water sprinklers. We'll get back with you after we get it all assembled and ready to test. Okay, here it is, alpha stage testing on the right, here is motion detector. I've got a light bulb in here just for the heck of it. I will probably put in a high intensity halogen or something like that to help scare off deer. And auxiliary port in case I want to hook up something possibly with audio. This right here is the washing machine water inlet valve that is controlled by elect electric solenoids here. All that's been tested and it works good. I've tested the uh, motion detector. It seems to work okay too. So I've got it plugged into power. Everything is wired up. The uh, motion detector turns off in the daytime. So what I just did was cover it up with a piece of black plastic and that pretty much activated it that will set off the sprinkler for just a couple of minutes and then it will turn off and the system will be reactivated and waiting for another motion to trip it Okay, there it just turned itself off. I'm still holding the black plastic over the lens of the motion detector. I'm going to move it out of the way and then cover it back up again. And that seems to be doing the trick. Let's see if we can't mount this under the edge of the pump house, which is right next to the garden and see how it works tonight. Update coming. There it is, all mounted. Piece of wood, I'm gonna hang that underneath the eaves of the pump house so that the motion detector is pointed towards the garden near the woods where the deer would come in. Uh, here, I've put in a socket in what was supposed to be a light bulb outlet. And with that, I will power this 150 watt halogen lamp. 
There is the washing machine water inlet valve that is also, I guess, electronically controlled through those solenoids coming from this motion detector. So whenever something trips that, water will come on, start up the water sprinkler, and turn on the light. Hopefully this will keep the deer out of the corn and other vegetables that were growing out there. Okay, there it is, mounted under the eaves of the pump house. Those are, that's corn right there in front of it. Now what should happen when I move, the light should come on and the sprinkler should, act, should activate. Sure enough. That'll come on and stay on for maybe 30 seconds and then it'll turn back off. Not even 30 seconds. Okay, that's working pretty good. Hopefully that'll scare the deer off when they come in here. Pretty neat. Didn't cost me a dime, used the only stuff that I had laying around. Water inlet valve for a old washing machine that was on, on the back porch and an old motion detector light, a power cord and some hose, and we're good to go.